And the, the last presentation needs no introduction. It's all over the media. Uh, Dr. Gupta, can you uh, just give? We're describing an individual who um, was HIV, HIV positive and who had um, stage 4B uh, uh, Hodgkin lymphoma uh, and had failed multiple lines of chemotherapy and um, uh, then had to have a, an allogeneic stem cell transplantation procedure. Um, and fortunately, uh, uh, a donor registry found a donor that had uh, the Delta 32 um, uh, uh, mutation in both copies, so replicating the Berlin patient's uh, profile. To see in those cells, the reason why we did the treatment for Russia is just to show that those cells... And um, th that transplant happened in 2016. We stopped in, uh, antiretroviral therapy in that individual 16 months later. Um, We'd done a, a group of assays to show that there was no detectable virus there. And then um, we interrupted treatment, and we're now 18 months post-interruption. Our individual uh, is, is in relatively good physical health um, and uh, um, recovered very well after the transplant. Obviously, he was sick during the, uh, that procedure and hospitalized. Um, um, but since then, he's made a very good recovery um, and, uh, and is leading a full and relatively normal life. Um, no, I think it's been... I'm, I'm pleased that the world is interested in this, actually, because I think it's a model for other infections, other diseases, and I think examples and exemplars are, are, you know, just give us all more hope about treatment of disease and hopefully about reducing stigma, of course. Um, speaking to the question of um, newspapers saying there's a cure, um, I think that, you know, the press release, for example, was cautionary, and I think that if people interpret it in a certain way, that's not good journalism, I guess. Um, so I, I'm hoping that people would read between the lines. You know, that's all. That ember dies out, if you will. Okay. Now. Um, so yes, and I think it is a matter of time. I think in, in another six months to a year, things will be um, uh, clearer. It's, in this study, what we did is we delivered the same thing. Hold one second for a microphone. Okay. <laughs> Again, just let me underscore that the two people who have been cured had lethal malignancies, okay, that were unresponsive to conventional therapy and had in the extreme measure of an allogeneic bone marrow transplant that has a high mortality. 